We're going to do a plaster experiment. We put barite at the base of this deformation box and then we put in the plaster uh, before it gets too stiff. The plaster gets stiffer after a while so we have to be careful not to wait too long. Before we start the experiment we want to add markers. We do that by adding a carbon powder mixture to the, the walls of the, the plaster experiment with a toothbrush. Um, we do that on both sides of, of, the, of the deformation box. And once we have done that, we want to start the experiment. We want to push one side of the box and do a contraction experiment. Here we go. So we contract, we form a reverse fault with a ramp, and a back thrust, and then we form a second fault in the forward direction. So this is in sequence imbrication, then the third fault forms, the other ones being more or less passive, and eventually the last one all the way to the left there, and we've made a very nice imbricate structure, imbricate stack. Uh, very classical structure in sequence thrusting. Okay. Once the plaster has become stiff enough, we can remove the glass plates and uh, we can look at the model from various angles, take pictures, study the details and keep the models uh, for future reference. Now we're going to do another model. This one is lower and it's also longer. And in this case what we're going to see is the development of some very nice back thrusts and, and the main thrusts a little bit later. It's actually better to look at this model from the other side. Let's see what's going on on, on the other side of the model. Now we push the model and we see the first back thrust, steep so reverse fault, another one, and then the main fault evolves in the middle of the experiment and it ramps up on top of the model and it rotates the layering and the layering back rotates as the last reverse fault forms. Again we can remove the glass plates after a little while and we can, we can look at the beauty of this contractional model. 